Get ready for an incredible transformation as we dive into turning this lackluster Texas yard into a water-friendly oasis that perfectly balances beauty and sustainability. Welcome to your new front yard. Oh, oh. On this episode of Texas Yard Makeover, we're talking about sprinkler systems. There's a lot of great options out there. Drip irrigation, multi-stream nozzles, and more. Let's see what's right for your yard. Sprinkler systems use a lot of water. In many cases, half the water used in a home is used by the sprinkler system. With a few changes and updates to the system, you can save a lot of water. The biggest water wasters are leaks. Check your system regularly for broken heads, cracked pipes, or any areas where water is pooling due to an underground leak. Even a small leak can be hundreds of gallons of wasted water, so it pays to fix them right away. Next, make friends with your sprinkler controller. Set it to run no more than two days per week. That's all you need even in the summer. Water only the amount that is absolutely necessary. Sign up for free weekly watering updates on our website to know exactly how much water your yard needs each week. And set your controller to the off position. Turn it on only when you need it. Make sure your system has a working rain and freeze sensor that can turn off your sprinklers automatically. Landscape plants have different water requirements than grass. Drip irrigation can be the perfect solution for your beds. Drip systems put the water exactly where it's needed with very little waste. They're super efficient and easy to install with conversion kits. Be sure to separate all spray heads from your drip irrigation. You don't want them on the same sprinkler zone. Drip irrigation also needs to operate at a lower water pressure. A typical home may have around 60 pounds per square inch of water pressure, but drip irrigation only needs about 25. Pressure regulation and a filter to not clog the emitters are very important when installing drip irrigation. Your choice of sprinkler nozzles can save water too. Instead of the traditional fixed sprays, try these multi-stream nozzles. They use larger water drops so more of the water reaches the soil instead of evaporating from the sun or wind. You do need to run them longer than fixed nozzles, but that's okay. They save water by applying water at a slower rate so more of it soaks into the ground. Keep watching Texas Yard Makeover for more tips on how to have a great yard and still save water, because water is awesome.